Wix Studio e-commerce website tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create a e-commerce website on Wix Studio. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead and uh, create a account within Wix or Wix Studio. It is very easy. If you have a account within Wix and it is the standard Wix, you are going to transfer it or transform it or migrate towards Wix Studio. Go ahead and visit wix.com slash studio. Here we have the option to start creating. Click on it. And the first thing that you need to do is to sign in in your account. And here we have welcome to Wix Studio. Click on get started and here we have the migration which is going on. As you can see we have here the same account on Wix.com. It is integrated to Wix Studios. All you have to do you can see here we have the platform, we have the websites. Now I am going to create a new site. Click on this one and here we have the Wix Studio. It will let us see the sign of Wix Studio. Choose how to design your studio site. We have start from a blank canvas or start from a template. I am going on this case to start with the help of a template so I will get an idea or also you can get the idea on how everything will work. Now, we have here the themes or the templates that are available on Wix Studio. You are going to select uh, any template that you are going to work with and simply we are going to start designing it. Here we have for example this roof roofing solution that lasts or you can go ahead and select any uh, website that contain some products and then you are going to customize those. Uh, here we have the type. You can go ahead and put the e-commerce. This will make everything easier. Here we have the e-commerce collection. And simply we are going to use, for example, this fashion store. Click on edit. And it will make the edit for the template. Here we have the Wix editor loading up. We are going to wait for it until it finishes. And then we are going to proceed to the other steps. As you can see, the website is ready and everything is set up. We have here the products. Here we have the header. We have the navigator right here. And we have the announcement bar. We have the products. We have some collections or some uh, canvas that are created right here to let the clients or the visitors preview and see the products zoomed in and you can only go ahead and start designing. For example, here we have this left sidebar. We have here the add element option. You can click on it and add whatever element you want from sections to wireframes, containers, buttons, media and more. You can see here the pages that we have. We have here the home page the shopping, the sign up, the cart, and the member page. Here we have the global section. We have the site style. You can go ahead and modify the typography, the colors, the page transitions, and etc. Here we have the media, which include everything created or everything uploaded into this website. And also we have the app market and integrations. You can go ahead and install any app from the app market and then we are going to let it work with the integration of the website. As you can see here we have some drop shipping from Aliexpress, from Printful, Print on Demand and etc. Now we are going to make some modification to this e-commerce e website but before that we are going to head to the dashboard. Why we are going to head to the dashboard? because I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and set up correctly this website. Since we have created the website, we are going simply to put the uh, right parameters or the right configuration for this. 
and here we have the getting paid all you have to do is to connect your payment method here we have a lot of options you can go ahead and connect payment method by clicking on here here we have two options the paypal which is the most easier one to connect and we have the manual payments you can allow to accept cash check or custom forms of payments now after we have a set here we have some pay links we have uh, you can, we can prepare some invoices we can prepare, prepare a price quotes proposals or pos or uh, here uh, cash or pay on uh, the uh, selection here we have sell to in person customer this is uh, the option you can set right here and charge the customers face to face and here we go with the options now let's go ahead and continue setting up our website i'm going to right here to the website and simply we are going to wait for the editor i'm going to select any uh, element on this page and we can go ahead and make some adjustments to it here we have the button we have the button that it says shop now i double click on that button and i can change the text here you can choose what displays you can put a icon text and icon text only for example here i'm going to put here instead of shop now buy now and here we have a button you can add a link to that button it will take you here from the categories to all products and also we have the uh, the image you can go ahead and click on the image for example change the image and you can see here we have a lot of choices you can also upload some media from your computer and let it here on this page now for the navigation bar or the header you click on it and it is a fully customizable we have here the navigation or the horizontal menu you click on here you can add some media or you can manage the menu here we have the shop new win tops bottoms accessories sales these items are linked to a specific page or each one is linked to linked to a specific page you can go ahead and add an item from a mega menu sub menu link dynamic and app pages main menu here we have the options or the products here we have the product section you can go ahead and select whatever you have here we have the a product right here you can see here it will open up the catalog and let you see the products now I have all of these products set you can go ahead and delete all these products or you can create a product you can have the choice to a digital file or a physical product and here we have the choice also to import a product or multiple products to your store if you have a csv file for example from a shopify or you have created a csv file that contains the title description the images the variation also and the categories the tags you can go ahead and put this csv file to uh, click on import and you have to choose it then we are going to see all the uploaded products right here you can go ahead and put them to the store and here it will change everything you can go ahead and change manually this product click on manage product and then you can go ahead and modify any product that you want for example here we have this one i will click on it it will open up the product directly and we can go ahead and add or change the media the text the price the shipping method and the categories here we have it we have the basic info the product we have here the images you can put this as a main image or upload any image or video for that product you can go ahead and customize these images put the shipping info return and refunds pricing here we have the custom text the product options or which is the variants here the inventory pre-order option and a subscription when you finish this click on save and boom you will be good to go when you finish here the modification on your website you can go ahead and preview the website this is the preview mode and finally click on publish and you will publish your e-commerce website 
that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one